how to take care of dry skin is just applying a thick moisturizer enough today i'm going to tell you 10 essential things to do if you have dry skin so what causes dry skin when we talk about dry skin there's a huge spectrum at one end there is just this dry skin without any symptoms at the other end there is atopic dermatitis and ichthyosis essentially in all dry skin conditions there is damage to the skin barrier leading to increased trans epidermal water loss which means that the skin is not able to retain water and it loses moisture easily. There is also lack of agents in the skin which can retain the moisture and water for a long time. So dry skin is also a wide range. Some people have dry skin only in winter while others struggle with dry skin throughout the year. So why do we need to treat dry skin? It can be associated with itching, discomfort, feeling of stretchy skin. It can also exacerbate other skin conditions and it can delay wound healing. So for all these conditions, we have to make sure that the skin is well moisturized and is not dry or flaky. So here are 10 things that can help with tackling dry skin. First is bathing with lukewarm water. Remember that hot water tends to strip the skin of its oil. So you want to use lukewarm water to bathe. Second, use a body wash which is gentle on the skin. This aloe vera moisturizing body wash is meant for dry skin. It has 5% colloidal oatmeal, which is moisturizing and has anti-inflammatory properties. It also contains aloe vera, which is soothing on the skin. So this provides hydration while cleansing the skin. It doesn't make the skin feel dry or stretchy after bath. It helps in maintaining the skin pH and this one is also paraben free. So using a gentle moisturizing body wash can be really helpful while tackling dry skin. Third is keep your showers short. The shower should not be more than two minutes long. If you have very dry skin, you can take a bucket bath. So in that bucket of water, you can add in about 8 to 10 tablespoons of coconut oil and bathe with that water. This way, it will not dry your skin out. Fourth is use a thin towel to wipe your body off. Don't use very thick towels as they can irritate and dry the skin further. So you want to use a very thin cotton towel and dab just the excess water off. Fifth is moisturize on damp skin. Using moisturizer on damp skin helps in sealing the moisture for a longer period of time and provides longer lasting hydration. This aloe vera moisturizing cream is a good choice. This cream is designed for dry to extremely dry skin. It has a non-greasy texture and provides intense long lasting hydration. It is white translucent in color with easy spreadability. This is not oily or sticky and yet moisturizing on the skin. This one is free of paraben and fragrance. This moisturizer can be used on the face and body as well. This moisturizer works really well for those with dry skin. Sixth is a layer of cotton should touch your skin. Woolen clothing should not touch your skin directly as wool can irritate and dry the skin out further. Seventh is use silk pillowcases. Silk pillowcases tend to have less friction as compared to cotton and linen and reduces the friction between the skin and the pillow. So this way your skin will not feel dry or stretchy when you wake up in the morning. Eighth is moisturizing the whole body properly before you go to sleep. This will help in reducing dryness and reduces water loss that can occur overnight. This is very important if you have very dry skin and also in elderly people who have dry skin as they age, moisturizing before sleep can really help. This aloe vera cream can be used on the whole body at night as well. Ninth is using humidifiers at night. Using a humidifier at night can be very helpful if you have very dry skin or in elderly people who are above the age of 60 years. This will maintain humidity of the air and prevent excessive dryness of the skin overnight. So this is very helpful if you use it during winter time. Tenth is use fragrance free moisturizers. Fragrances can be irritating on the skin, especially if you have dry skin or you have atopic skin. On extremely dry skin, because there's already a damaged skin barrier, these irritants can cause more problem than on normal skin. So if you have dry sensitive skin, using fragrance free moisturizers can help. So there you go, 10 essential things to keep in mind if you have dry skin. I hope you found this video useful. I want to thank Glenmark Aloe Vera for collaborating with me on this video. If you like such skin and hair related content, then you can follow me on my Instagram handle, Dr. Anchil MD, where I post such skin and hair related content daily. Yes, daily. Thank you for watching.